have here at Comedy Fight Club, one of them, and it's his first time being a bandit. He is the hometown hero here versus a roast battle who's been headlining in New York. So one more time, I need all the energy you have. Fight Club, are you ready for this main event? Introducing first, he took time away from catcalling women on the one train to be here tonight, Pedro Garcia! What up, what up, what up, what's up everybody? Alright, fuck off. What's up Pedro, how you doing tonight? I'm doing all, I'm doing all white. <laughs> you ready for this fight? Yeah, I'm doing good, man. Yeah, let's all go. All right, we are going to meet your opponent now. He looks like he sometimes tastes his own cum. Brandon <laughs> Paul! <laughs> How you doing tonight, Brandon? You ready for this fight? Nervous, man. Anthony Quinn. Yes, you got to follow yeah, Anthony Quinn. Bar. Four jokes, tip for tat in round one. It's a three-round battle. Puff. Pedro, which one of you two wants to go first? I'll go first. Cool. Pedro's going first in round one. Puff is going second fight club. I need everything you have. What do you say? Are you ready to kick off this fight? Yeah. Four jokes starting with Pedro. This main event starts now. The, the thing died, so <laughs> we'll just start. <laughs> Alright, uh, I've never met Brandon before, this is my first time meeting him, how's it going, pal? Alright, uh, your fucking face repulses me. Uh, uh, I don't know, man, you're weird as, you look weird as fuck, you look like a Jigglypuff had Down Syndrome. Uh, Pedro enjoys shadow boxing, which is just what he calls watching two black people fight. <laughs> Brandon looks like a horny pug <laughs> that gets insecure when his owner starts fingering other dogs. Uh, Pedro's last girlfriend was taller than him. Even more embarrassing, her cock was bigger too. <laughs> oh, the girth. Uh, Ed, uh, Brandon Puff looks like uh, if Ed Sheeran sang about being in love with 12 year olds. <laughs> Uh, when Pedro is younger, he would get into arguments with his GI Joes, he would make them fight. Uh, strangely enough, the arguments usually revolved around which one of them would get blown by Pedro first. <laughs> That's a privilege, dude. Yeah. Um, Brandon was a janitor, uh, which makes sense because as an ugly child, pedophiles wouldn't molest him, they'd kidnap him to do housework. Pedro dreams of one day owning his own home so that he can finally have a staircase to throw his girlfriend down. <laughs> Uh, score three right now, so I'm excited to see what happens next. 
All right, Franco Danger, how you feeling? What are you time? doing, dude? Represent for us. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is me and you right here in the best town. You can dance, though. If you want to win the dance, don't just drop it. Confidence. Get your head in the game, bro. I'm in your corner. I'm in your fucking corner. Let's go.
you know that oh man, you know the little girl that played one of the dinosaurs in that? Oh, she's like, like right after that. Yeah. Yeah, it's like eight. Hey. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I know a lot of dead child actors. Okay, uh, <laughs> Land anyway. Before Time is one of the weirder things to be autistic about, I will say. <laughs> uh, I thought this was a great match. I thought it was pretty even, honestly. Like, I mean, Jesus Christ, Brenda, you brought, the, uh, you brought a dinosaur out. Uh, hilarious to picture, you know. Very funny. You brought jokes, but did you bring a dinosaur? <laughs> No, we brought jokes, so I think it's even. Uh, <laughs> they're both great, very hilarious. I think this is just, I'm excited for the next round. Fantastic. All right, Lauren LaRue. Very interesting because, especially uh, before Franco was like Pedro, it's just us two, but Jesse was fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've never seen both notes and a puppet before at the same time, so that's something to think about, especially when the puppet's hotter than you. Because <laughs> Um, Pedro, the clip joke was buck wild and insane. You got me back there, now I feel like it's neck and neck. Very excited for the rest. Let's All see. right, Fight Club, we are going to pick the winner after the final round of our main event. Are you ready for round three of this main event? <laughs> Four jokes, tip for test, starting with Pedro. Round three starts now. My bad, dude. <laughs> Our, our DJ got sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, Brandon, your face looks like you're always on a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm sure you all know that Pedro Garcia is a fan of Joe Rogan, but is Joe Rogan a fan of Pedro Garcia? <laughs> Let's all quiet down for a second and listen to a recent episode of Joe Rogan. <laughs> Some guy named Pedro Garcia keeps reaching out to me trying to get on my podcast. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Every day this dude is messaging me on Instagram, on Twitter, literally everywhere. He just won't fucking stop. He says he'll suck me off. <laughs> What's wrong with that guy? He needs to get his shit together. <laughs> Let's listen 
to a recording I found of him from the Diablo radio podcast. So this upcoming Tuesday, I'm supposed to be doing Comedy Fight Club, and honestly, I think that's the dumbest show ever. It fucking sucks. All the judges are gay as hell. <laughs> mentally challenged. It's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> Alright man, uh, okay. uh, Brandon has what is known as the Irishman's curse, which is when a man can't emotionally connect to a woman unless she's unconscious. <laughs> We're going to try uh, one more of these uh, Pedro Garcia recordings that I found in a basement somewhere. Let's see what uh, Pedro actually thinks about cock and penis. <laughs> It's kind of crazy how much I love cock. I mean, I genuinely love cock. It's wild. I'm a total semen demon. <laughs> <laughs> else. I'm a cock doc, bro. I'm a phallus chalice. I'm a scrotum toy. I'm a jizz junkie. I'm a cream fiend. I'm a spunk trunk. Wow. Hey, I'm, just I'm, I'm just impressed. It sounds like me, dude. <laughs> Technology, man. Fight Club. Give it up for Pedro Garcia. <laughs> We're going to go to our judges. Fight Club, we'll start with you. Do you think overall after all three rounds is the winner of this fight? Pedro Garcia? Is the winner of this fight, Brandon Powell. <laughs> Crowd goes to Brandon Powell. We'll go to our judges. Despite what Pedro said about all of you, <laughs> Lauren Larue, who do you think won this fight? Wow, that was crazy. Um, <laughs> Brandon, you look clearly autistic, but Pedro, you're like autistic, but like for a uh, MMA. <laughs> pretty much the whole time, but the AI part, uh, you know, it feels a little cheap because it's like you're not delivering it, but you didn't write it, so that, there's some merit there. Um, no, I don't, I didn't, I'm just pressing on contact with Tucker Carlson and Joe <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed that you both can afford phones. <laughs> um, overall, um, Pedro, you did the OG thing, you wrote the jokes, you, you did the work, but the creativity, um, for Brandon, I think did win it for me, so I'm gonna have to give it to Brandon. All right, that's another win for Brandon Puff. Alex Grubard. Uh, man, this was a fun match. Although I will say, uh, you know, Brandon, you're so good at all comedy, you made me want to change my vote to Anthony. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I thought it was uh, really funny. Although I didn't think it sounded anyone like Pedro. I know. I thought he had a cameo too. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no, I, I honestly, I think we would give it to Pedro. It was an incredible match. I thought Pedro's jokes in the second round were like pure comedy fight club. And I want to see this friendship blossom after the match. All right, guys, Pedro, you're melted. <laughs> also sold it for me. Give it up to Pedro. Two votes for Puff, one for Pedro, Mark Henley. This is everything I wanted this battle to be. Both guys were great. Pedro, I think a lot of the points, uh, what you did tonight, would have won. But Puff is like reinventing the game up here. He's got puppets. He's he learned how to use an eye for this. It, 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 it's a level of innovation that I, I don't think uh, I don't think almost anyone can beat. So I, I got to give it to Brendan Puff for this one. That's another one for Puff. It's the nicest way you've ever said you cheated, but you won. <laughs> <laughs> Franco Danger. Holy shit! This <laughs> is what a main event should always look like. Yes. Right here, dude. I guess the audience didn't agree. Um, <laughs> I was waiting for that clap. No, that was fucking. That was dope. That was really dope. I mean, there was. I mean, great moments on both sides. I'm still dying at that clip joke. That shit was incredible. It's not expecting that dinosaur to come out. And then the AI, and then the AI again, and then again, and then again. <laughs> oh, so did you write all that up? Uh, that semen demon shit? Yeah. That, uh, that was no, good. it was from Diablo Radio. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Stuck it straight off the script, dude. Yes. Honestly, yeah, it could have been, dude. Uh, this was incredible. I mean, uh, my heart. Was always on this side, but I think 
this I I, I gotta be honest here. Yeah, my yeah, my yeah. song was on this side, but like we're gonna be very very buff. That was incredible. That was very creative. Um, my vote goes to you. Another vote for creative.